I'm going to make a very bold claim. Oh, gee. <laughs> oh. A very bold claim. Been doing that a lot. Lately. This is going to be the best show we've ever had in almost eight years. This show. Yes. Is going to be the best show we've ever had. Why would I say such a thing? That's the one we're doing today. Right there, no, this is because there's one reason. Because Chris Brockman, DJ Mikey D, TJ Jefferson. I'm all. It's a team effort. I'm all tight. And I will just tell everybody who's listening and watching, all three of these guys did their independent study last night. <laughs> yeah, I did. And I actually did. Oh, it's yeah. I did. going to be showing up in this show in ways that you perhaps can't even imagine. These guys went home mm. and got on their iPads and did all four hours oh. that's required of them every week on this program uh -huh. to do independent study. It's Chris, you got you to gotta do your independent study on uh, putting together the best possible overreaction Mondays and the best yep. possible, oh, yeah. uh, what's more, more likely? Yep. The best possible postings on social media. Uh, Mike Del Tufo, your independent study is frightening. I don't know what Take you're that doing. For data. Thank you. And TJ Jefferson, your yes, independent study. You went out last night. I'm back in the world. Still, and you still I'm even did your independent study of because course. I know, because I'm a professional. I have put monitors in all of your homes. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Don't know that. Oh, you oh, saw no, that? No, no, no. I've done it. Uh-oh. I made sure <laughs> that you focused. You didn't just turn your uh, tablet on. Mm. <laughs> I have taken a page out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. <laughs> and you should I do have, that. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> I have done that. <laughs> I have done that because, you know, even though your natural talents take you to a certain spot and you have shown your ability here on this program with your natural talents, just your regular instincts in real time on this program. I've seen it happen. Gotten us this with far. microphones in front of you, it's gotten us this far. Yeah, factual. But I think you guys needed a little bit more study time mm. to focus on the Rich Eisen show. I'm always trying to hold my craft. And, you know, you guys may have balked at the clause I put in all your contracts, but you eventually signed it, and I appreciate your commitment. We have contracts? To the program. I appreciate your commitment. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Mine has $230 million on it, so I don't know I've been, for. I have been, we need uh, to talk. I've been around this football <laughs> world for a while. I'm, I'm pleased to say, okay? And uh, I've never heard of anything like this before in my nope. entire life. <laughs> I've been around the sports world. I've never heard anything like this in my entire life. Certainly when you're generationally enriching the individual who you do not trust to do the hard work on their own time. It is called an independent study amendum <laughs> between... Arizona Cardinals, the club, and Kyler Murray player for the contract years of 2022 to 2027 and the club option for 2028, which means the independent study time starts now. What does that mean, independent study? What does this mean? Well, item, well, I guess, uh, uh, item one under the category 36, this is what the player agrees to satisfy the following off-field requirements. Uh, line one, players shall complete at least four, parentheses number four, hours of independent study, parentheses as defined below, each week, parentheses, excluding any bye week. Oh, he's off for bye week. During each playing season, as defined below, during the term of the contract. Let's go to below. Independent study means player studies the material provided to him by the club in order to prepare for the club's next upcoming game, including without limitation, any such material provided via an iPad or other electronic device. Time spent in mandatory meetings shall not constitute independent study. You're not independent when you're in a meeting. <laughs> Player shall receive no credit for independent study. Zero credit. For independent study for any period during which player does not personally study the provided material in good faith. In good faith? Wait a minute, this keeps going. For the avoidance of doubt. The avoidance of doubt. Write that down, Chris. That might be a great <laughs> fantasy team name. Doubt. Avoidance yeah, of nice. doubt. That's pretty good. That's great. Or is that just a, is that a cover band that you don't want to go to and your friend invites you yeah, to? Yeah, that sounds like a 90s. Hey, guys, good. Come, to, come to this bar. Avoidance of doubt is having its new, it, we're dropping our new album, our new song. <laughs> Who's headline? Avoid Players no. shall not receive any credit for independent study with respect to any time periods during which any material is displayed or played on an iPad or other electronic device if A, 
player is not personally study or watching the material while it is being displayed or played or B player is engaged in any other activity that may distract his attention for example watching television playing video games or browsing the internet while such material is being displayed or played i don't think kyler's playing ms pac-man mike one, watch out for binky That's pretty good mike here comes clyde it's pretty good just three words oh my god oh my god that's three jeez this, if you remove the codifying of more iPad time, <laughs> remove that. Otherwise, Susie and I are going to take this contract and make our children sign it so they know their allowance is, in fact, tied to their study time. This is great language for all parents on planet Earth. Of young children. <laughs> this is amazing I don't want to give you more iPad time but I'll tell you what man I'll tell you what man if, you, if we're going to make you study your allowance is at risk and the number of times I, I, honestly the number of times that we tell our kids hey get off your phone get off your iPad give it to me because you're watching television the Arizona Cardinals are going to have to monitor Kyler Murray's second screen time like Susie and I do with our fifth grader? How, though? Uh, how? Now it comes into focus why the Cardinals didn't immediately give him the contract upon the piece of paper I still have on the desk when his agent, Eric Burkhardt, asked the Arizona Cardinals or told the Valley of the Sun that things weren't going well between the two sides. Body language. They were concerned about his body language. And now we see they're concerned about even... If I'm going to give you, you know, $160 million guaranteed, we're going to make sure you study. Now, a lot of people are saying this shows you the Cardinals don't know what they're doing. The Cardinals had no choice but to pay Kyler Murray. Could you imagine if Arizona didn't pay him and refused to pay him and let him either hold out or come in and be disgruntled and then play on his fifth-year option and let this whole thing play out Ugh. again? Could you imagine if they did all of that and the reason why is because they didn't trust him to do the extra work that it, every other terrific quarterback in the NFL clearly does not have to be told to do. What are they going to do? Let him go? <laughs> really? Let him walk? Let him hold out? Let him not get this contract when he has placed all of this on the table? I mean, they also knew when he told the New York Times that he was blessed with the cognitive skills to just go out there and see it before it happens. I'm not one of those guys that's going to sit here and kill myself watching film. I don't sit there for 24 hours and break down this team and that team and watch every game because in my head I see so much. They knew that guy said it to the old gray lady. New York Times, for those who may not know. That news was fit to print. They knew it. They know who he is. So they felt the need to put this in the contract. And what does this say about their coach who can't even affect this on their own? Inspire him to be more inspired to actually do the work that is required of every quarterback in the NFL to know what's what and spend every last second. Just look at what Brady did with Belichick and that Behind the scenes look that NFL Films gave us a couple of years ago where they're breaking down Ed Reed's la every last twitch. Kyler's not doing that. No wonder maybe why they go down the tubes after November when things get tough and windows get tighter and red zones become more red. No, this ultimately, if anybody's embarrassed by this, it's Kyler Murray. They feel like, what are they, are they going to... What? Like, will they have a camera on his iPad? They'll know when it's on? 
and they'll know he's looking at it or a human beings looking at it or will the cameras on on the on, on the pardon me tablet by the way you know it's a microsoft tablet, tablet, tablet. that these guys are supposed to have the NFL uh, and Microsoft are very, very sensitive about that sort of thing. So they'll have a camera on the tablet. When he turns it on, will the camera be on so they'll see it's him and not a buddy who clicks on it? And will they know that he's not going to be, he's not playing, what, Minecraft at the same time? Will they know that? He's not going to be watching a second screen? Hey, Arizona, if you need my help on that, I know exactly how to tell somebody, get off iCarly and focus on your tablet. (laughs) I'm very good at that. Susie is expert at that. If you need our help, this is nuts. Never heard of it before. And if I'm a Cardinal fan, I'm wondering what the what. I wouldn't wonder what the what about the Arizona had to had to sign him. They had to. And again, are they ever is we ever gonna see a team that's gonna let somebody walk because they feel he's not fully committed to the preparation role? They didn't have to give him that much money. They had to. Yes, it's his market value. This is it, Chris. And market I know you value get so upset. for market value for what? A guy that's never won a playoff game? Well, maybe this is why they didn't give him every last dollar guaranteed either. Still, 160 is a lot. It is. It's a market value for somebody who has shown a remarkably generationally talented ability with arms and legs. It's the question about what's in between the temples and what's in the chest. Because I'll tell you what Matthew Stafford's doing. I'll tell you what Trey Lance is doing. I'll tell you what Drew Locke and Geno Smith is doing in the division. They're not doing anything that requires a clause to be placed in their contract to make sure that they're studying. They're studying. That's what the competition is doing. But Kyler got to where he got in Oklahoma and got to where he got on the first round of the draft by doing all of this that he's done. And now he's been generationally enriched without having to do this work. And I guess that's why they felt the need to put this in a contract. So there's a lot of question about who should be embarrassed. Arizona had no choice. If I'm Bidwell, I'm not scratching a monster escrow check without that being put in the contract. And if the coaching staff hasn't reached him to the point where they feel the need in management to put this in a contract, it should be on Kyler Murray. This is embarrassing. This is way more embarrassing than what happened at the Super Bowl when he showed up on this show and Dan's show without any plan on how to answer the question of, are you playing baseball or football? Why leak this to make him look bad? I don't think it's been leaked. I think, you know, this stuff gets around. How much? I've told this audience, and you know it too, the chatter, the talk, the the scuttlebutt, the chit-chat, the Rams, already, by the way, the rest of the league already had to have known this is Kyler Murray's M.O. They had to have known this. And the Rams had to have known if they put an extra wrinkle here or there that Kyler Murray would not be able to just instinctively handle that they've got them right where you want them. And the Cardinals had to know that too. Everybody, the whole league knows. And I'm sure every agent in the league who's got a quarterback or a client wanted to see this contract. How did the Cardinals, what did they put in this thing to not fall into the same trap, if you will, that was laid by the Haslam family? How did they not pay Kyler Murray every dollar guaranteed. What's in there? I would want to know that if I'm an agent. If I'm an agent, I'd want to know what's in this contract so I'll know what to ask for the next time. If you're the agent of Joe Burrow, wouldn't you want to see the contract? But Herbert, next guy's up who are going to finish year three. I want to see it. I'm not saying these are the folks who did it, but it's. I'm just pointing out that this contract has definitely been disseminated 
across the entire landscape of the NFL business world. And somebody saw this clause and like, uh, I think this would uh, be interesting fodder for the rest of the world to know. So Kyler Murray, as if he doesn't have enough pressure on him with the amount of money that he's been paid and the fact that DeAndre Hopkins is not there for the first six games of this season. That does include a game against the defending Super Bowl champions for the Arizona Cardinals in week number three. After a week one game against the Kansas City Chiefs, do you know what Patrick Mahomes will be doing the week leading up to that game against the Arizona Cardinals? His own independent study without Andy Reid or the Hunt family having to codify it in black and white. And that's what I would tell Kyler Murray is when you face Derek Carr's team in week two, when you face Matthew Stafford's team in week three, and you bet when you face Baker Mayfield's Carolina Panthers in week four, guess what they'll be doing leading up? Their own independent study. And we don't need to babysit how much time you're doing and making sure you're not watching TV or playing a video game while you're supposed to be doing it. And that's what I would tell Kyler Murray. Infantilize him. Because this contract clause being made public has done exactly that. And that, in the end, might be the best piece of news for Arizona. It's time to grow up. 